Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name's Nicole. If you're old, welcome back. I'm to you on a very, sorry, my nose started edition of Rainy Sunday. And I decided uh, my haul should be up tomorrow, what I hauled from Ulta recently. And so this is my, I'm going to do a look or two with the Lorac Unzip. This is the ocean one. Sorry, I've got like more lights in here. But, um, to, so you can try to see my eye makeup a little bit better. Um, and I've already primed with the Urban Decay, so it like, you know, it has a very light nude um, color to it. Uh, and my eyelids are still dark. That's what I'm talking about. It doesn't matter, excuse me, what primer I put on. It's, yeah, I saw black eyelids. <laughs> so I decided I don't do this often. And I only really tried this once before. Uh, this is a Nika K, and it was like a dollar ninety nine eyeshadow base uh, from IK House. I found it there um, to try to like for people who don't have black eyelids. Maybe you just have blue, and a primer really neutralizes that out. Or you actually go in with sharp uh, tart shape tape, and um, you know, cover your eyelid with it. Uh, I just don't want to use my tart shape tape that way and because that sucker is expensive and yeah and I don't have time to always do like a white base on my eye like ever I d and I don't mess with it at work so we're just gonna plus the stuff kind of like tugs my eyelid too You know, it's not like creamy. It's got like a, it's like the color tattoo, really. Um, I suppose you could get a light one of that if they make like a white one. You know, if you have really bad under eye or you just really want that color to pop, that would be the way to really make it show up. And it's also very tacky, so if you had something with like needs help sticking to your eye, that would probably help it a lot. So it does kind of dry down. And did I bring anything to set it? No, not really. Okay. I'm going to go in with a crease brush. Wipe it off a little bit. I'm just going to do that one eye with that base. Um, and go into Mother of Pearl, which is like a creamy opalescent and does have some shimmer in it, glitter too. Like very, very finely milled glitter. I'm just gonna set that like all over. I'm gonna set the other eye because I really want to see what the how it looks with and without. I've never done that. Like one eye set with it, one eye not. go into a crease shade. I'm going to go into that horizon color which is a peachy the yellow undertone. I'm sure there's another fruit that actually looks more like it but I don't know it. Let's see if we can get that to show up over the white base. Now as with all Lorac shadows these have like Okay, there we go, but now I'm like, see, I knocked off too much of the pigment on that last one. They do have powder kickback, but not, like, too much fallout, as long as you're placing it, and then you get most of it on, and then you can do your little blending motions, and that one blends really well, even over that base. So, and I'm not seeing any fallout, granted, it probably kind of blended on me. And I just kind of like tap it a couple of times in there. I don't really swirl it. Oh, I'm sorry. I see, cast shadow. Let me see if I can right over there. It'd be a little less bad. No, it's not gonna be bad. Okay. I'm experimenting with my light. I want more light, and I need it coming from the bottom. But when I do that. Gives me shadow, so you know what I'm going to do. I hope I'm not going to knock into it. 
keep you over there and we'll just deal with shadow. <laughs> All right. A little bit more on. See, so, yeah, I mean, colors like that are barely transition if I didn't have that white base on. See, it doesn't show up near as well on me without a white base like into my crease because I put that like above the eyelid. That's what's on <laughs> Okay. I'm going to take my angle one and do the you never watched Wayne Goss's video for hooded eyes how he shows you how to do um makeup for a hooded eye. Okay, I'm going to go into high tide the darker rose is the darkest size bedrock um, mat in there. If you've never watched that video, his trick is to like, you look forward and then right above your eye, where you crease, you go out. He, he like uses a pinpoint motion, but I just kind of take a brush and go in with it. And go out and then go up from the bottom to kind of give a lift to your eye look too. Instead of, you know, most time you just go like this if you, you don't have a hooded eye or you don't have a really small eye. You would just go like this and this, and <laughs> eyebrow, <laughs> and then you would um, you would kind of bring that out and like maybe angle like right down here instead of up here. You'd probably angle right here, especially if you were doing a wing. But then some just keep going like that. So, yeah. That way you're like keeping at it. Color. We'll go on the other side. I have used this twice now since I've gotten it. So, I have not used every color in this palette yet. I've used like the majority of them. So be careful, I've got that big scar underneath my eye. It likes to interfere with everything I do over there. Like colors like bunch up in it or skip over it. Okay. And then get my blending brush and just go over it a little bit to soften up any edges. Slightly. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take some glitter glue. Because I want to try this shade again. Okay, this shade goes pretty on. It, you know, I don't have the white base on at work. So it didn't get the full pigment, I think, in it. Um, it's called salt water. But the glitter in it, it's very fine glitter. It's very, very fine. But it just goes everywhere. Or it mostly stays, like, up here. You know, but it was it is all down here, and then by like a few hours in, the pigment was gone. So I'm gonna try it um, and see if I can get it stay with glitter glue. This is gonna be an experiment on the whole glitter glue thing. Um, let me try another one. sealer blush just so like I can kind of get it. and this is NYX uh, glitter glue and okay if you, you want a shadow to stay without any fallout this is your guy but be very careful with it when you put it on and when you put an eyeshadow over it because what you put there is not going to move or blend like at all 
I'm going to go like three quarters of my eyelid. I'll put that down for just a second. Eyeshadow brush and the eyeshadows are so soft, I don't want one of them. Okay. This is the thing from e.l.f. Yeah, it's an eyeshadow brush from e.l.f. And I need to, like, fix it because it's got, like, yeah. <laughs> it just comes off. But <laughs> it's a little less densely packed than a couple others. I'm going to grab that color in salt water. See what I mean? It's, like, it's not like, best, but... Okay. And we have a winner. So that shade needs glitter glue and probably the one right next to it too. Because I noticed I, I set my eyes with just that one yesterday and I still had glitter. So yeah, I think these two need glitter glue. But wow, look at that because it's like duochromy. Can you see the shift? Let's like walk that just a little bit. Can you see the shift on it? So really pretty. It just it needs that glitter glue. It's just one of those shades. It's gonna need glitter glue. Cause you can see that very finely. Oh gosh, when that glitter stays with the pigment. Oh gosh, that's gorgeous. It does look like a seaside grotto or something. Okay, I'm gonna put glitter glue on the other side and see what we get without a white base underneath it. And these wooden handle ones don't go through Amazon, don't go through Crown Bears, don't go through Hot Look. Find them on eBay for like, I want to say not even four, maybe a little over four. But it was a whole set of bunch of Kabuki ones and these, these are awesome. Except for the blending brush is a little bit too long. So it's not that sturdy, but it, it's still workable. It's still like nice and fluffy. It's just not ideal if you have even smaller eyes than I do. Like one of my nieces, like she has, like I have, um, her eyes might be even slightly smaller than mine and then she doesn't have as much eyebrow space between her eye and her eyeball that I do. Um, it's not like she has uber thick eyebrows. Um, she has them, but they're probably as thick as mine right now. So, yeah, she doesn't have as much space so it doesn't even really doesn't work for her so keep that in mind um but then you know I did find those really good ones the real technique set which I like a lot which have a smaller one well they have a more dense one. what they call an eyeshadow brush kind of fluffy you know, those or um the best small detailed ones that I have the only ones I've seen that marketed that way are from Luxie and I got mine through an Ipsy offer for like 15 bucks or something. So, yeah. Gosh, that's so pretty once the, like you have glitter glue down and the glitter stays on your eye. Can y'all see that? Can we bring you in just a little? Don't know how well you can see, but we're going to go with it. Nick. I hope I was like in frame. <laughs> I can't tell with my eyes closed. So next we're gonna deepen the outer V or actually have an outer V I guess. Um, with I'm gonna actually use this fluffy brush. This is one of the mini eye detail mini brushes. Um, mini tapered from Luxie. It's like a blending brush. It's just mini. And I am going to go into a shade I have not used. I have not sh used this shade or Sea urchin shade. I can talk. Where's the tap Then we're going to go out. Out of the V and up into the crease line. Oh, that's pretty. I'm a fan since that color and that pigment is staying on my eye and that green with the glitter glue. This purple right beside it. It's 
got like that gold iridescence to it. It's the gold glitter and then that green shade is just so light. That just looks so good with it. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, I don't want that one. That one did do what I wanted it to use. Or maybe it was a different one. And yes, I'm talking to myself while I decide what to do. <laughs> I'm going to go in and I'm going to take um, <clears throat> High Tide first. And that was the darkest rose shade. And I'm going to go all the way underneath my eyes. Click on the lash line. Other one too. And I can see some of the glitter probably from application has fall into my lower lash line but it's not everywhere like it was the other day without glitter glue and that's more like it didn't exactly stick to your brush while you're applying it so that might be a shade if you really don't want glitter anywhere else I mean it's just falling like right here a little bit and I'm thinking that was more from initial application um, I would probably do it before you do your other makeup if you don't want glitter anywhere else take that purple sea urchin shade and I'm gonna go the outer half smooth all that together okay yeah it's still gotten everywhere else. of course that could have been the white shade so just be careful with those two shades is what I'm saying actually I think that might be my highlighter that could be my highlighter actually Oh, there's my highlighter. So this is staying up here. Mostly. I don't want it that bad with the iridescence in there. Okay, I need to add Mother of Pearl to my inner corner. It looks like I have it on that, but that's actually that white glitter glue. Or white base. Be careful with it. Yeah, I'm kind of pleased with that, but I wanted to try something. Yeah. Hey, you remember these Stila Cushion uh, eyeliners I picked up at TJ Maxx? Like my second TJ Maxx. I'm kind of wanting to try them out just to see what they do. Oh, that stick needs to be washed. Like, I don't know what was on that one. Okay, this is an eyeliner. So we're, we're gonna play around. We're gonna see if we can like not ruin our eye makeup look. Okay, I think I coated it enough. That little spongy thing. We're gonna see how it turns out. See it. I don't know if I can wing it. I'd probably just mess up my eye look if I tried. But you know what? We're going to try anyway. There's a random hair sticking out on my brush, but.
Wow. I am not mad at that. That was almost easier. Um, what you think? Did I go up too high? I can't tell. Or did I need to thicken it up just a little? Because it looks really good. <laughs> I'm not seeing how it's showing up. Well, it's showing up more close to my eye. Okay, my eye wrinkles like getting in the way. That's what it looks like. Like I can see. Why that song's in my head? Okay. Randoms. Okay, I think that's actually a really good wing for me. I'm actually really happy with it. Oh my gosh. Oh wow, I kind of like this. Except for there's like one hair just juking out. Not doing anything. Okay, so. I might have to start doing these. These seem like easier, especially with my like little eye crinkly wrinkles things going on. Like <laughs> it kind of seem easier. Um, than like the brush tip pens, which is weird. You would think it's the other way around, but no. Gosh, get out of my eyelids. Freaking eyelash hairs are getting in my way. There we go. Worst time lining these up right. It's very glittery. It's pretty. <laughs> Okay, that's probably the best that's going to get. <laughs> I don't get enough practice at my wings to not jack them up all the time. We'll go with it. Alright, I feel like I need mascara, but I think I forgot it. Of course I did. Why wouldn't I forget my mascara? Anyway, <laughs> so here is the finished look because, you know, I forgot mascara. And that's not helping anybody. But I'm rather pleased with how it turned out. You just got to be careful of the glitter. And that's how it looks. Let me see if I can zoom it in. Okay. It's like, let's go in. My in frame. Hmm, here we go. Ignore my jacked up wing. <laughs> I've also something else. Anyway, thank you for watching my tutorial look for the... Black Ocean Unzipped. Uh, Ocean Sunset Unzipped. I'm really enjoying it. And thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Toodles.